Hey guys, what are you doing? Uh, it's Mage here, doing another, uh, playing another game here. We're uh, <laughs> on Star Wars Battlefront. I almost said World of Tanks review. Ooh, that would have been odd. Um, I, I haven't, I know, you guys haven't seen me do too many comms lately. I was trying to do some Twitch streams and stuff. Uh, been trying to do that because they're a lot more easier to do, but for whatever reason, Twitch is just being uncooperative. But I have been playing a lot of games, been playing Fallout 4, and in particular, I've been playing this game. This is the game I've been waiting on, Battlefront. And I, I would have to say, if I had to have a first impression, and, and you know, somebody was asking me, you know, do you recommend it being a buy? I would say, um, if you're a Star Wars fan, you're probably going to like it. I mean, I I'm, I'm almost lenient on it, I'll be honest. I'm really laid back with it. Um, with its main issue, and the game looks beautiful. I mean, nobody will knock the look. Nobody will knock the sound. I, I mean, it feel the game plays exactly like the movies. It's almost amusing. I, I mean, you're you're grinning ear from ear a lot when you're playing the game. And um, they did fix some things from um, the beta. And uh, for any of you guys that played the Battlefront beta. Um, a lot of people were annoyed and even downright disappointed with how the game played, and that was because of the shitty spawns. I mean, if you were the Empire, chances were, or even if you were a rebel, eight times out of ten, the, the Empire would win in Walker, Assault, uh, in Walker Assault. It's changed drastically since then. I mean, I have seen, I have seen both sides win on either map. Um, I think the only exception to that rule might be on Endor, where I feel like uh, the Rebellion has a bit of an advantage over uh, the, uh, the Empire. And that's only because you got one walker running around rather than two. So it's easier for uh, the Rebellion to focus all their fire on one at at and take it out. Um, but overall, the game is much improved from... Um, uh, from the beta. I was worried from the beta if, if this was just going to be a casual, frustrating game. And now it's just a reasonably decent casual game. I'm, I'm quite entertained by it. Um, I, I would have to say, though, if you're looking for a game that was going to be competitive, like a Battlefield or a Gears of War or a COD, yes, even COD has a little bit more of a competitive streak in this game, you're going to be disappointed. But this is just a straight-up fun... It's really a throwback in some ways to kind of older shooters in the sense that there's none of this ADS. I mean, the only reason you aim in this game, use ADS, is to get a better zoom. It's straightforward. Now, um, our definition of skill and competitive has changed drastically, and people kind of forget battle the original Battlefront games... They weren't really as drastically different as this. Um, the only thing you had to worry about in Battlefront was blaster deviation or shot deviation when you hold down the trigger too long. You have that here in this game. Um, Call of Duty, Battlefield, they have something similar. It's just you have spread shot or spread increase from the gun. And the difference is you can you can remedy this by ADSing. You don't have none of that. Your weapon is always at max um, at max spread from the start. So there's no difference between zooming in and aiming and all that shit. Um, it, it's just straightforward. Um, and, and if you recall from um, the beta, there there were really huge issues where you could get behind uh, rebel uh, the rebel team, and you could just you could spawn camp the poor bastard. You could you could just lay you could lay waste them. It was really pathetic. I mean, that was the thing that bothered me. And fortunately, it seems like Dice has made some has either they have made changes or that beta was intentionally pretty bad. I'm going to assume they made changes though. Um, Let's just say this. If you recall, you know, some gameplay footage where people could just run up in an ATST and just lay waste to people and just... You, you would see people run in and get like 20, 30 kills before they went down with an ATST. I mean, that's how dominant that thing was. And it only... I think it only got wrecked. It started... They started getting obliterated in games when people started wising up and using ion grenades. Well, it's changed drastically. It ain't ion grenades you're worried about. It's turrets. You got to worry about ion torpedoes. <laughs> you got to worry about everything. Um, people have your fucking number in an ATST. Infantry is not to be t taken lightly. Now um, they're serious customers, and they've made changes to the heroes as well, um, where. 
they don't have a countdown timer for those of you that have uh, played the original Battlefront games. It, it was kind of similar to what you had in the, in the Battlefront beta, so you need an explanation to that. Um, but you don't have that now. And supposedly you could regenerate your power bar in the tip section uh, of the game in between matches, but I haven't seen it yet. It doesn't appear to when you get kills. So... I guess that's something maybe they took out. I have no clue, but it's changed. The problem w with it now is some people will camp in the back with a hero like Boba Fett where he has a rocket that will basically auto-lock people. And it, it basically is kind of like an active radar missile from Battlefield. Basically, if it gets close enough to somebody, it just zeroes in on that one person and kills them. And it's pretty frustrating. And people get easy kills sitting all the way in the back with Boba Fett. So hopefully they'll do some changes there. Um to force those guys to PTFO and get up there and play. Um, but the other the other heroes are pretty balanced. I've never felt like Vader or the Emperor or, or Luke or even Han or Leia are OP. It's just Boba Fett's kind of annoying. But I guess, you know, if, you know, if you're a Star Wars fan, you're going to sit there and say, well, Boba Fett's kind of a badass, so you're going to cut him some slack. Um, but I am enjoying the game. I mean, they have done some things that have made it better, but there are some things that piss me off about this game. Um, one thing in particular that bothers me is four maps at launch for Walker Assault and Supremacy. Now, I've played a little Supremacy, and, and it's pretty much the same maps as you get on Walker Assault. And I prefer Walker Assault outright because I think the game mode plays out better than uh, Supremacy. For whatever reason, I've run into more campers in Supremacy. But in Walker Assault, much different game. I, I feel like the, the action's more entertaining. That's just my opinion, though. But stand back on topic four maps at launch that is pathetic and yeah we're gonna get a fifth one here with battle of jakku that's i think a week or two away and we'll we'll have that and that'll you know it'd be decent but still uh for sixty dollars you expect more out of a game you expect more than five maps you expect yeah i'll cut some slack six or seven maybe yeah i'll take it farther should be eight maps um, correct me if I'm wrong, but Battlefield 4 had eight maps at launch. And you could, granted, Battlefield 4, it had a nightmare of a launch. Lots of freezing, uh, games crashing. I mean, it, it was a nightmare. I mean, I don't think any Battlefield game has ever had a smooth launch. You may want to correct me on that, but I'm pretty sure they didn't have smooth launches. Um, this game, I haven't had any issues. No horrible lag, none of that. I, I mean, my main hang-up with this game... It is by far the four maps at launch for um, uh, for Walker Assault and Supremacy. That is the main drag here. Um, I will say this. You do get different small maps. Um, for those of you that have played Battlefield 4, um, if you play Domination or TDM, basically the maps in those, um, in those match setups, basically you were set on the large maps, but... The, the out-of-bounds area was much smaller, so you were fighting on a particular area of a large map. Um, the small maps here on Battlefront for for the different matches, whether it be Blast, which is basically TDM, or Droid Run, or Drop Zone, uh, or Cargo, um, are basically very unique. I, I have not found these areas on the large maps yet. Um, I've actually been impressed with that. I mean, they're their own stand. They seem to be their own standalone small maps, um, purposely designed for that game mode, which I, I thought was kind of impressive. Uh, usually, I, I have never seen that even out of a Battlefield game, so I was quite impressed to see that. Um, the game modes, I you know, I think uh, aside Walker Assault and Supremacy. Uh, I, I would think the smaller, more infantry-focused game modes. They're kind of meh, in a way. Um, there's only two I really like, and that's Drop Zone, which you guys are sure have seen that from the beta. And then there is Cargo. And Cargo is basically capture the flag. You run up, you grab um, this backpack or some container, and you take it back to your spawn. You gain points. And it, it's basically kind of like a tug of war, because both teams start off with five points. And if you get a container, that'll make it six points for you and four points for the enemy team. So it's kind of like tug of war, in a sense. It, there's like a little meter above. But I am liking the game. I am enjoying it. I will say this. If you're not a fan of Star Wars, but you do kind of want the game... Maybe pick it up used, pick it up second hand, and you won't mind it. It'll be a pretty good game. If you're a Star Wars fan, on the other hand, you'll love it like me. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I do 
I don't give dice um, a pass, though, for only giving us four maps. That bothers me. Yeah, it's going to be five, but I still don't give them a pass. All right, guys. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.